Hey everybody, this is Brett here with Bleeding Sun. I uh, just wanted to uh, talk about a little bit of uh, the song Suffocated, kind of what's behind it, the meaning of it, uh, how it all started basically with that song. Um, you know, all the serious crap, I guess. Anyways. So Suffocated uh, was originally an idea that, that Ken brought to me, and, and I should probably go back before that, of how we met. Um, so we, we're all big fans of, you know, Seven Dust, for one. That's been my number one band forever, it seems like, and uh, um, always been, been fans of Clint Lowry. And uh, I decided to join his Patreon page uh, when it first came out. And uh, coincidentally, so did Gabriel and Ken, which I didn't know at the time. Um, and, uh, you know, he's got a really, cu really cool community uh, of people on there that we've all become friends. And uh, he's got like a private messaging thing where we can all, it's got kind of like our own little Facebook, basically, where we can all post stuff and share ideas and share musical ideas. And uh, um, he's, got a, he's got a page for that where you can go in there and post music ideas and, and uh, just stuff you've been do working on if you're you know a writer. And so I, I'd post random stuff I was working on at the time, just riffs and ideas and and stuff like that. And and I've also and I also noticed Gabriel was posting some stuff, and he seemed like a really really good guy and a really a really good guitar player. Like like uh, there's something about about what he's doing as a as a guitarist. Um, it's gonna be something pretty special. And I also knows Ken. Uh, everyone loves Ken. He's he is. Um, he just lights up a room, and he'll talk to anybody about anything, and he's just that kind of person. He'll do anything for you, too. And uh, he posts, I think he posted some videos of him playing drums. He, I, know he, I know he did some video covers of some different songs, and really darn good drummer um, out of Chicago area. Um, and Gabriel's out of Virginia, and I'm in Kansas is where I'm at. Anyways... Uh, just posting ideas over the you know next few months and uh, kind of got going back and forth with Ken a little bit and Ken, Ken sent me an idea he had of uh, of of just a kind of a really rough demo uh, and it was it was uh, the drum track essentially for Suffocated he had tracked it on like an electronic drum kit and sent it in to me and uh, um, he had you know he plays guitar a little bit and he had he had some basic riff ideas for the song and. And uh, and uh, he, he sent that to me, and I felt like there was an you know an idea there that we could really pull from, and um, so I started I pulled his guitar parts off of that, and I started tracking my own versions of it, essentially on top of his drums, and um, I remember I, I sent him kind of what I was thinking, just a bass riff idea, and he's just like <laughs> he's like keep going, man, so. Um, we kept we kept building on that song and and uh, you know then I decided to reach out to Gabriel because man I liked I liked what he was doing and uh, asked him if he'd do the solo and add some other guitar parts if he wanted to on the song and uh, what he sent me just blew me away I mean that that guitar solo was just it's just like lightning coming out of him um, definitely stuff I can't do I mean everyone's got their own talents and skills and. You know, I can I can write a good song, but I, I'm not a shredder by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, he just he just added that extra spark to the song that made it just so much more than what it was. And so we, so we just started developing it. You know, vocally started writing some ideas down, and and really it just turned into what it is rather quickly. Honestly, I mean, it was maybe a week or two, maybe three weeks before we had the basic idea of what we hear now. Um, and, uh, then we decided, you know what, it's so hard to find, you know, musicians that are like-minded, that have the time, that aren't committed to something already and that, that want to write together. So we started writing together and just sending stuff back and forth remotely. And, you know, before we, we knew it, we had 30, 40 song ideas, <laughs> you know, in the pipeline and, and about, about 10 of them were pretty pretty much done 
as far as the overall concept. So we decided, okay, well, let's let's start recording this stuff. And then um, that brought those guys out here early January of uh, 2022. Um, they came all the way out here to Kansas and spent a week with me out here. And we tracked drums and worked on little guitars. It was mainly drums because we had a lot of <laughs> a lot of technical issues getting it up and going. But we got the drums going and, and did and wrote a new song and some more ideas and. Um, you know, just had fun spending time together and, and, uh, and we decided to, to produce, uh, an album's worth of music and slowly release it over a year. So, um, we're looking forward to this. This is Suffocated's the first song. That's kind of the one that started it all. So that's why, that's why it's the first one we're going to release. Cause it's, it's kind of the baby, you know, and, uh, we're looking forward to seeing where this all grows and, and, and where it takes us. And, um, you know, I think suffocated as a as a as a whole as a song. You know, writing the lyrics and stuff. Uh, not to get too serious, but I was you know last year or two uh, has been a lot of lows in my life, uh, a lot of highs as well. Um, but but I lost a lot of things that I had worked for for a long time, and and uh, and lost touch with a lot of people, and I, you know, COVID had an effect on everybody, and and uh, that didn't help you know, for darn sure. And, uh, it's just about songs, just about the struggles of life and how, you know, life can take so much away from you so fast and you don't even realize it. Um, you know, you know, no matter what it is, whether it's a death in the family or a loved one or a divorce or, you know, you know, do you losing everything financially or, or whatever is the you know whatever the problem is, life can sure tear you down quick if if uh, if it really wants to, and uh, you know going through that stuff, no matter what it is, it has kind of a suffocating feeling to it, you know, almost like a weight that just weighs down on you. No matter what it is, it, it weighs down in its own weird way, you know, and uh, that, that's kind of what the song is about, you know. And I think that the you know, that line in the second verse, you know, you know, you, you spend so much time thinking about or wondering why me, you know, uh, that you waste so much of your life doing that. Uh, and I think that's so many, so many people's problems, including myself, you know, you, you tend to always look back and go, you know, why did that happen? Or, or what, what, what could I have done differently when, you know, if you just focused on the future and, and, and where you want to be and, and and what you want to do, um, you sure can live your life a lot more fuller that way. So um, in, in a nutshell, that's kind of what the song is about. Struggles of life, going through some hard times. You know, nothing nothing crazy off the wall. It's pretty straightforward, you know, stuff. But um, it's the music and the vocals that pull you into that song. And I, th- I, think, it, I think it'll resonate with a lot of people. Um, and it just jams, you know, it's just a good song to just crank it up and just rip on it, you know? So anyways, that's kind of my background on the song. Um, and I really appreciate you guys giving it a listen. Um, you know, make sure you follow us on all the, all the socials and, and, uh, share away, you know, let people know about our music. Cause we got a lot more coming where this is at. So we're just getting started. So. Can't wait to share more with you. Peace.